Hey guys, currently I've been experimenting with three cool iPad apps. That is Infinite Painter, Nomad Sculpt, and Cozy Blanket. Now I'll only highlight the features that stand out for me, but all of these programs have so many more features and I think it's worth checking out. The first of which is Infinite Painter. Uh, so Infinite Painter is I think actually better for industrial designers and car designers than Procreate. Because with Infinite Painter, you have this really robust path system. I mean, you can draw very accurate curves, um, unlike any other iPad app that I've seen. Um, and that path system can be used to stroke lines, uh, as you can see here. Watch, this is really cool. I can pick any brush, and stroke right along that path. So I think that's that's really important when you're trying to do accurate. And so that same path system you can use to create precise mask shapes. So you're doing a, some glass or just the body or whatever you decide, but you can really get accurate, very accurate shapes, mask, field in shapes, whatever you need using this path system. And then it's got a really great ellipse guide system. And unlike the other programs that I've worked with, you can um, adjust down the path of the major axis, like so. And so any wheel, any kind of uh, wheel shape, circular shape, is really easy to do. And so finally you have the radial symmetry. Radial symmetry is as you see here, but you also have the warp system where you can transform and warp whatever shape that you want. The next thing is Nomad Sculpt. Nomad Sculpt is much like ZBrush, but on the iPad. And let me tell you, it's got all the typical clay tools, like uh, ZBrush, you can add, subtract clay, just like any other digital clay program. You have the Move tool, and the Move tool is a very important tool. You have masking tools, and of course you have painting tools, and I like using painting for scribing down like the character lines. And of course you have the Crease tool, Crease tool is great for scribing lines. And there's all kind of cutting and clipping tools where you can separate parts, clip them out. Um, and of course, you have the basic translation tools so you can move things around more accurately. So the next tool up is Cozy Blanket. Now, this is a really cool tool. And what it does is it allows you to resurface just like in Maya or Alias, you can move, just click your, your uh, pen and move the edges around as you need them. Simply draw on the topology, X to delete topology. You can even smooth and organize your topology that way. And so the same topology, all of the same topologies that you see here, I created in Cozy Blank, and this is now in obviously Gravity Sketch. And gravity, I use Gravity Sketch to just uh, clean up things, but let me tell you, it was pretty much there straight from Cozy Blanket. So all of these tools, those three tools alone, are think, I think are some really good tools, and I think I'll be using them more and more. So give them a try and tell me what you think. I'd love to hear what you think about these apps, particularly Cozy Blanket, because I think that's a game changer. So until next time, that's been it.